welcome back to another video today I'm showing you how you can correctly catch a fly ball now if you're youth trying to learn how to catch a fly ball or or your experience and you're trying to go back to the basics in any occasion this video will help so without any further ado let's hop right into it so the first and probably most important way in catching a fly ball is tracking it. If you can't track a fly ball, you can't catch a fly ball, okay? Now, I did make a video on how you can track better. I'll put that in the corner. You can watch that after the video. Um, but basically, tracking means you, you get to the spot as fast as you can and try to predict where the ball's gonna be, right? And this is just a super big part on catching fly balls, okay? So, that's the first way on how you can correctly catch a fly ball. Now the second way is getting to the spot and then catching it, right? So you tracked it, you ran up, you wanna slow down a little bit, two or three feet or maybe four feet behind the baseball. You wanna just slow down and then when the ball's coming in, you, like you wanna come in, tiptoe a little bit and run in, right? And basically this is just getting your momentum going towards the baseball and towards your base okay but you when you get here you don't want to feel the ball back here or just above your head you want to feel it a little bit out front right and basically what i mean by this is if it's over your head and it falls it's going to hit your head or go back or go in front right you can't really recover the baseball if it falls. now if it's in front of you it's guaranteed or most likely guaranteed to drop in front of you so you can recover the baseball if needed right so that's the second way on how you can correctly catch a fly ball. Now the third way is making your move and throwing to the base, okay? So you get into your, you, you just caught the ball and you're getting into your cross hop to throw the baseball, right? And basically, when you're doing this, you wanna make sure all your momentum and explosiveness is going straight towards the base so you can keep the ball on the line. You don't want of these rainbows. You want more of, I'd rather have it come here, bounce and get the guy. I'd rather have you do that than make it a rainbow because it would be so much longer having it a rainbow than just maybe hitting the ground once or twice, right? I honestly rather have it a double hop than a rainbow, okay? But it would be perfect if you can have a line drive right to the glove, right? So those are the three biggest keys on how you can correctly uh, catch a fly ball. So, uh, I really have nothing else to say about this. Um, if you enjoy my content, please hit that subscribe button and like my content. Uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss another one of my, one of my videos. 